Hello! Welcome to Global Nicole, your place for functional exercise on the go. I've been teaching Pilates and movement for almost a decade now and I have yet to meet the person from client to colleague who does not have some sort of shoulder tension, myself included in that. It feels like rocks in there sometimes, a lot of times because we're looking down. So for me, I'm usually looking down at clients. For you, it might be that you're working on some some sort of art project or you might be working on some sort of computer project or maybe you cook, right? A lot of leaning over and chopping. I know I get really bad when I'm in the kitchen for a long period of time too. So what we're gonna do today is do an exercise to free up that shoulder tension, right? It's all about getting some juiciness, some fluidity back in these shoulders so you get blood flow to our brains, always helpful, and to feel just a little more ease and a little more ease in your breath in your body, and your neck and shoulders. So let's get moving. We're gonna take our opposite hand to the shoulder. So I'm taking my left hand to my right shoulder, and I'm kind of squeezing, right? I don't wanna to pinch too much in here, but more along the back side. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit, get a nice grip, maybe you feel some trigger points in there. And I'm just gonna to start to do some shoulder circles. So one of the things that I tend to see happen is that like the elbow starts going, a little jazz move, and I don't want you to do that. I want you to see if you can really lift your collarbone and shoulder blade up, back, down, and around. We're going to do about four here, squeezing the top of the shoulder with that opposite hand. Three, and breathing, four, and then you're going to go the other way. So you're going to do four, three, two, one. Then we're just gonna like shake off the arm a little bit. Keep squeezing with this other arm. And then you're gonna do some arm swings. So it's still squeezing. You're gonna bring the arm across your body, up, and then down and back. And just kind of let it swing. Let your body move as you do this. And you can even follow your hand with your eyes. Just six of these. So we're on number four. Five, squeezing the top of the shoulder. Six. Then you're just gonna release both hands down and we're gonna do arm circles with the same arm. So we're doing everything on one side first. And you notice that as I do these arm circles, my body weight is shifting. And that's fine. And breathing there. You're letting your whole body move. Four in this one direction. And then we'll go the other direction. So you do four, three, two, one, and then just shake out the arms. Stand there for a second and take a minute just to pause and feel the difference between the two sides, right? I feel a little blood flow, a little heat in here. How do I feel even standing my legs? How do I, if I look side to side, oh yeah, I have a little bit more range on this side now. So now that you've loosened up that right shoulder, let's, uh, let's do the other side. So kind of shake out your arms a little bit. We're gonna take the right hand to the top of the left shoulder. We're gonna give it a little squeeze, remembering to go more to the back than the front. Make sure that you're not bleeding from your elbow. You're gonna see if you can circle this collarbone and shoulder blade forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, down. Two more in this direction. So it's as if you're kind of trapping the tissue with this hand, the right hand, and then moving the bone so you give yourself a massage. We're going to go the other direction for four. Breathing with that. Three, two, one. Shake out the arm a little bit. Hang on to your squeeze. Maybe you adjust where you want to press, put some pressure in that shoulder. And we're going to do some arm swings. So you're just going to swing one, two, we're going to do six of these, three, breathing with us, four, five, six, shake out that arm, release the shoulder, shake out both arms, and now we're going to do our arm circles. So you really want to let your whole body move with this. If your balance is okay, follow your hand with your eyes. So we're going to do four in each direction here for one. Breathing two, three, four. Swinging the other way. Inhale, one, two, three, four. And then just shake 
out those arms. Mm, I'm already breathing easier and I feel like I can turn my head better and I feel like my neck is longer. So hopefully you are feeling at least some of that as well. Maybe you want to spend a little bit more time on one shoulder or the other. Maybe you want to sort of roll, do some shoulder rolls after that. This is a great thing to do midday, right? Somewhere when you've been working on a project or maybe you had to go get groceries and you've been lugging them on your shoulders. So to make sure that you get something to unwind all of that. Please feel free to share this exercise with anyone that you think could benefit from it. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep moving.